So hey guys, I'm giving you an update on my liquid cooled lithium ion battery management system. So in the last video I assembled, well, I showed you an assembled battery. Uh, it was spot welded and the cooling pipes were in the battery. And today I'm going to show you the progress that I made. So as you see, I've assembled, I've printed out a nice housing for the battery with my 3D printer. I've attached pump and the radiator and mounted the BMS on top, made all the wiring. So it's nice and assembled, but there's still no water in the system. And uh, today I'm gonna test out if there are any leaks in the battery. So I'm gonna take off this uh, part of the housing and conduct some tests. Uh, introduce some water into the uh, pipes and see if it's tight. So this is still the battery with the casing fully assembled and now I'm gonna take it apart. So I've made this little setup here. I placed this battery on top of this box and the water is gonna get sucked in through this pipe and exit through this pipe and I'm gonna suck some water into the system so the pump has something to grab onto and then we're gonna observe here if there are any water drops forming uh, next where the pipe transitions where the copper pipe transitions to the flexible pipes so I've sucked some water into the system with my mouth till now everything seems to be stable I don't see any water drops so that's a good sign right there and now I'm gonna connect the pump to 12 volts But still, there's still some air in the system, so the pump is struggling to get that through. And now the air has smoothly disappeared. So we're pumping water at a pretty steady rate, I like that. I was worried that uh, the resistance in the pipes will be big and the water will not through flow quickly but apparently it does so I don't see any water drops yet I kind of expect the seals not to be perfect though so I'm not celebrating too quickly here but it seems to be working well and I'm very impressed with the flow rate of the water now I'm actually gonna increase the pressure in the system uh, to see if, if if it leaks under pressure. That that works like this. I'm gonna just block the pump, and now the pressure increases. And let's see if there are any leaks that looks good doesn't look like there are any leaks I'm very impressed but I'm gonna let this run for maybe an hour or something like that and check again 
because this isn't allowed to leak otherwise I'm risking damaging the battery yeah it's leaking here but that's only because I haven't tied it with cable ties yet so I'm gonna add a cable tie there but um, the important part is that it doesn't leak here in the battery housing and it doesn't seem like it at the moment about an hour later it seems like the battery is not leaking that means I can reassemble it and uh, the cooling circuit will be basically finished that's why I'm gonna reassemble it real quickly so we can take a look after that as well So here is the battery battery assembled again. Now there's water in the system and since it, it, it didn't leak, I'm pretty confident that it will not leak in the future either. And it's a nice time to weigh it, to weigh the entire system, how heavy it is as someone has suggested in the comments and by the way it's not worth it sharing the schematics for the battery management system because it's just pretty bad and I'm gonna redo the entire thing and I'm gonna document it as well so the next step is connecting the pump and the fan to this little module here that is responsible for the cooling circuit so this will control the pump based on the temperature of the cells which is uh, measured here and determine the how quickly the pump should pump and how quickly the fan should be spinning uh, and it will output the PWM signal to the pump and the fan based on the temperature of the outside temperature and the battery and other factors so I'm gonna get the scale and weigh it so there's the scale and apparently it's 7.5 kilograms which is pretty heavy uh, so 840 divided by 7.5 it looks like it's 112 watt hours per kilogram which is pretty bad this battery is not about being practical this battery is about being well it's just about learning about electronics and things like that so with 112 watt hours you could almost get um, just a lithium iron phosphate battery which can output more current um, use and just use that without cooling but of course you could scale this battery up basically twice or even four times with the exact same radiator and maybe a bit bigger pump and it um, it could get a much better energy density but at 112 watt hours per kilogram that's not too bad actually uh, I think lithium iron phosphate is around 80 to 100 or something like that and that also needs a management system and an enclosure so I think I'm pretty good here still in the green basically and I think this also can output uh, more energy with this cooling system than a lithium iron phosphate these batteries are rated at 10C so it theoretically could output 8 kilowatts a bit more but I wouldn't 
do that because the nickel strips which I used to weld them with it I think they wouldn't survive that and also this looks pretty bad here next time I'm gonna separate this sensor from the entire circuit board and just use it freely and attach it in line with the wire and get just the and route a sing signal wire uh, up to that sensor it doesn't really make sense to to put the sensor in the middle of the BMS because uh, it just disrupts the whole circuit board so yeah I'm happy that it's looking good and uh, finally being looking like it's done now I will upload the software onto the board and see if it regulates the pump and the fan well so if you wanna stay up to date with this project I recommend you to subscribe and if you like the video then hit the like button if you have any questions just feel free to ask me and I will address those in the next video or maybe reply so in the next video I will de demonstrate the software probably and I will just make a last part which is to cover this PMS and uh, where I can attach the terminals of the battery so see you back then